Warning, this show features hazardous activities performed strictly for therapeutic rehabilitation under the supervision of professionals. Do not attempt any of this crap at home. <laughs> You have to get a license to so much as catch a fish, but anybody can become a parent. And I see bad parenting as an epidemic that needs to be dealt with. Uh oh, that looks kind of scary, scary guys. Glad to see y'all made it. Welcome to Camp Stevo. I want you guys to know there's nothing to worry about. We're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what's your name? Pam. How you doing, Caitlin? I'm good. How are you? I think it seems pretty obvious, but in a nutshell, why would you say that you sent your dad to Camp Stevo? He's really uptight and really anal about stuff. I got an A on my math test. What was the score? Um, a 985. Okay, why well, wouldn't it 100? Because that's the best I could do. Sam, alright, well, I'm never going to be able to remember your name, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, my God. Not much stuff. Yeah. Alright. Should you just give me a friendly little kick in the ball? Oh, man, you guys really do need to know. Okay, What's your name? Dinah. What's going on, Drea? It's crack a -lack -a Oh, uh, yeah. What'd you bring your mom here for? She's a neat freak. Oh, she's a neat freak. Yeah. That could be a problem. Okay, okay, Donna. Let me make sure I can remember your name. Oh, yeah, look at that. That was great. Oh, yeah. No! No! Do it. Sean, do you want me to start what? We're not even three minutes into this and you're throwing a temper tantrum already? Now, I can sense a major problem. Sean. Where do we start? My mom always wants to be in control, and she always wants to be like, she's controlling everything. Let me smell your hands. Why? Look at you got cologne on your hands because you were smoking cigarettes. I have cologne on my shirt. How do I, how do I, oh my god, yeah, I smoke cigarettes, mom. Can we go look at your car? I, yeah. Can we go look at the inside of your car? You can smell it. You can smell what? Oh! Oh! Jeez, I think I planted these. Did I plant these? You're grounded. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can do it on my arm. Okay, Julie. Yeah, yeah, white stuff really here, Kelly. Oh, don't worry. No! It hurts. Wait, <laughs> wait, no, 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 it's okay. Alright, who else do we got? Who do we got here? Um, Brian. Your dad's name is Brian. What the heck's your dad doing at Camp Stevo? As me being 18, he doesn't want to let me grow up yet. I wish you would just let me go. He smarted off the other night and said, I'm sick of all these rules. It's like a new rule every day. I'm like, oh really, there's a new rule every day? I'm like, geez, Brock, that would be 365 rules a year, now wouldn't it? Like I had my girlfriend over. Did you nail her? Did I nail her? Yeah. Oh, sweet, yeah, so there's I, no problem there. Yeah, but I got in trouble for that, too. So. Ah, see, now that is a problem. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm gonna do what I can, dude. We'll get you riddled with STDs in no time. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Okay, Brian. All right, okay. All right, what's your name? Harry. We're all going to become better people here. So your dad's got some kind of issues with the way that you look? Oh, big time. Yeah, the way he looks is weird. He looks weird. A mess. He thinks anything to do with rock music is to do with the devil. You know? So basically, I need to teach your dad how to appreciate death metal? Yes. And now, when I just spray painted all your clothes, and I didn't get one proper kick in the balls. Let's be less, let's be less friendly, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my god, that was me! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry guys, you really... The first thing we need to do is mellow you guys out a little bit. All the parents could, could come with me. Leave your bags with your kids. Cold! <laughs> oh yeah! Okay, so this is our yoga area. We breathe in through our mouth very slowly. Everybody mellow out. Okay, so if we can just practice these breathing techniques. For how long? Just a few minutes. 
Judge, is that right? Is that what you said? You were an attorney, but you're a judge. Okay, we're gonna get your parents' crap out of here. Let's just pack their bags back up. Yeah, nice. All right. Take your parents' clothes, son. Definitely. I came because I thought we could probably learn about communication techniques. Okay, so guys, nothing happened. Just chill. I'm gonna get your folks, and we're gonna get you out of here, and then I'm gonna handle them. So, um, I've talked with your kids. Turns out you guys are really pretty screwed up, you know? At the end of the day, whatever the issues are, even if I've got them wrong, we're gonna work them out, I'm sure. So, uh, everyone give your kids a hug and let's get them out of here and let's get to work. John, don't forget to call my assistant, Michelle, please. Everybody, everybody grab your bags and uh, let me show you where we're living. I, we have got the digs over here. Hey, make yourself at home, guys. Your house is mine. Uh, hey, come on in. Oh, this is nice. You're the well, outside. Just shut up. This is nice. I have to tell you guys right now, I'm sitting right there. <laughs> this is just like my brother. Wow. Okay, make yourself at home. <laughs> what happened to my clothes? Uh, Are you yeah. serious? Oh Some my god, there's messed up. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna stay in the same clothes, huh? For the next two days. It's like they threw it in a shredder. Oh my god, I wanna go home. Oh the devil and me. I don't have no secrets. Oh yeah. Oh the devil and me. You guys just dig in. Yeah, we're best friends. Oh the devil and me. We're looking for trouble, but I know the devil and he's gonna do me in. I'm gonna get dessert, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're making me nervous. Hey, who eats dessert at lunchtime? Never. We are uncool. That's why we're here. Coolness is relative to the age of the kid, I guess. That was Andy's hero ten years ago. Here comes the whack job himself. We're pretty full. This is gonna be a joy for everybody involved. Oh, yeah, I really have to apologize that lunch sucks so bad, but dessert is going to be fantastic. Everybody grab a straw. <laughs> I think that we should just snort the living crap out of this. <laughs> but why, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Yeah, we're doing this to, to teach our children what? You guys are going to be able to say that you've snorted ice cream, <laughs> chocolate syrup, you know, strawberry syrup, and sprinkles. You know, that's what I know. <laughs> You're not going to take any crap from your kids because you guys have snorted dessert before. Right? So let's get to it. Throw up. Never mind that, never mind that. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I think I might be able to finish it off. <laughs> oh man, dear brother. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I almost lost that lunch right there. Just look at yeah. Alright, so which one of you guys is stepping up? <laughs> Brian, let's, let's, let's try and start some ice cream, man. It's really, it's really not hard at all. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Yeah, there you go, Brian. You got it. You got it, Brian. Yes. yes. Ice cream. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Oh, yeah, what are you kidding me? Yes, yes, yes. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Line it up. Come on, Barry, dude. We'll do it together, bro. You and me. Okay. I've been alone as I'm feeling high. I'm feeling the sky. I feel the earth and walk to the sky. So what's, what's the issue over here, Tim? The obvious drug reference? Uh, the obvious drug the reference, fact yeah. that I don't think that people normally snort these food items. All right, well, you know. Well, that leaves Julie. I'm going to have to side with the judge over here. Well, hey, you know, at, at least Tim made something of a valid point. I want you to tell the public what the point is. What's the, what's the point we're trying to portray here? You have to snort something, let it be ice cream and sprinkles. I agree. If you're going to have to snort something, this is what you snort. Sprinkles? Sprinkles. Yes! Yeah. Cherry? Chocolate? <laughs> Sean, don't do this at home. That a girl. So, Tim, what do you think uh, <laughs> your daughter's going to think about this? <laughs> yeah, it's probably par for the course. The idea is to let yourself go. And, uh, and this uptight crap's not gonna last very long, dude. I'm gonna have to talk to your daughter about this, dude. Okay. Uh, you there, Caitlin? I'm there. Um, all right, uh, we got a little problem here, babe. Um, your dad's got some problem with snorting uh, ice cream. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do with your dad, Caitlin. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. Well, I just, uh, that stunt, it just sends the wrong message. They had straws and ice cream and... I'm not gonna do it. It's not gonna happen. Why? I'm not, well, I'm not even... I don't even know why you're asking me why. Ooh. I mean... Uh, don't me. I'm not doing it. It contains obvious drug references. So that's what you think being a more cool parent is, that whatever Steve-O asked me to do next, whatever it is, that you think I should do that? No, I'm just asking you to be a little more laid back. And just, even if you don't want to do that one, we at least try to do the next one. Okay. I'll think about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dad. Love you. Ooh. All right, Judge, well, uh... Let's just not blow the next event, man. Oh, yeah. Put some hustle in the muscle, guys. Come on. Yeah. Okay, first things first, let's all take our shoes off. Oh, uh, yeah. Shoes and socks. Very, very important for this exercise. Can you take our shoes and socks off? Yeah. Can everybody agree with me that superstition is bull crap? Yeah, like, uh, oh god, I love breaking mirrors. Oh, what a... <laughs> so now, we know that breaking mirrors is a good idea. It's walking on broken mirrors that we want to look into. I think it's perfectly fine, right? Oh yeah, what are you kidding me? Oh yeah, you can see, you can kind of like it down. Oh, yeah. I think this is a great time for to, for Judge Tim. I mean, you can see there's, there's no, no problem here, right? Uh, well, apparently, at least not for you. So let's do it, dude. Okay, so the purpose of this exercise is... <laughs> the purpose of this exercise... ...and walk on the broken glass. Yeah. We're just... on our way to coolness at that point in time. <laughs> yeah. We're just trying to make a decision. Yeah. Okay, let's get that sign in the back going. Yeah, yeah Judge Tim. I can't believe he's so my glass this. the same as your glass? It's absolutely the same. Okay, so I walk on this glass. Yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dad, give me a hug, Tim. I'm not sure I feel any cooler. <laughs> you are, Tim. You're way cooler. Yes. Yeah, I wonder, like, uh, 
How could this have possibly been easier than snorting on ice cream? Well, I, I don't know that easier was the reason that I did it. Uh, okay. First of all, I totally agree with you about superstitions. Yeah. And, yes. and about how those hold people back or do things to certain people. Yeah. Or bigotry, superstition, that type of thing. Then after I saw you walk on the glass, I figured, you know, I came out here, try to be a little bit more open, try to do <laughs> yes. stuff, yes. and you weren't bleeding from about 800 different places, mm -hmm. yes. so I thought I could probably give that a go. Excellent. So, See? I'm a player. <laughs> That's the effort that we were talking about making for your kids, man, and I love it. I love that. Okay, so I get to pick Nick? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Julie! What, Nick? Because he said I got to pick Nick. I next. can't believe that you didn't debate him on that. You? Yeah. Yeah. Atta boy. I don't know what we learned from walking on broken glass, but just breaking mirrors makes me feel free. So let's have a group hug, guys. <laughs> yeah. The chance to retaliate against Steve, though, it's like it's the embodiment of camp, right? When you go to camp, there was always pranks, right? People played pranks so on you. We're trying to think of. Okay. You gotta do something, something different. Fair is fair. It says hair remover. Uh oh. <laughs> Going too far? Crap, no. Okay, I kind of like this. Uh -uh. Attention campers, meet me in the young area in 10 minutes. <laughs> Most of the goldfish in this tank are scoundrels, scum. You gotta understand that your kid is one of these fish and it's hanging out with the wrong crowd. So we have to transplant a goldfish to the safety of that fish bowl without harming it. It's not gonna be easy, but you gotta do whatever it takes, you know? You can never give up on your kids. Yeah! All right! Yeah! All right! The logistics isn't working. <laughs> Julie, since you understand the logistics so Excuse much. Excuse me, if you couldn't do it, how do you expect to uh, do it? Just come on up, Julie. Come on up. You got it. Learning how to be a cool parent, to once again, this is an exercise in being a responsible parent. Hey, you know, like, being a responsible parent is cool sometimes. That's a big seller. <laughs> what do you say, Tim? No idea. Is that game. it? <laughs> yeah. Jumbo! Yeah! Oh, yeah, Diamond. You got it all going. You look good. <laughs> all right! Yeah! All right! <clears throat> and yeah. don't get in that predicament again. Well, next time you're staying. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See? Wait Happy, out, healthy Wait. children. <laughs> Digging dudes. On the way. Yeah. Sure. Your kids really had problems with grinding your stuff through the tree shredder. <laughs> you know? There it goes. <laughs> What's our goal here? And we here because we're, we're goofballs and their kids think we're weird? Are we here because... You're trying to teach us a lesson? We're here for the kids. Basically. What a crock of crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's a correct statement, wasn't it? It is, yeah. Yes. Well, all the times, you know, the parents tell kids to do stuff that they don't want to do. You know, it's like, it's kind of cool to flip the, flip the script. And, you know, you're going to actually have a strong argument to say, how the hell can you not do this simple thing that I'm asking after I went to Camp Steve-O, and you guys are going to be in a really good position you know, to be taken more seriously as parents. So mellow up. Yeah, cheers all. To your kids. Can I ask another question? You're more than welcome to. Yeah. Now, can I ask about the sleeping arrangements, please? Because I'm, um... I'm good. Because it's not all about you. Yes. I heard you say something about crashing in my bed, and, like, I'm cool with that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> not sleeping with you. 
Yeah, there's one bed that's... Judge, that's, I need your help here. Yeah, I don't think you should sleep in that bed. And since there's not another cot, I guess that probably means we're going to have to give her our blankets. Well, wait yeah. a minute. Wait, 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 well, I mean, wait, fair's wait, fair, wait, right? Wait, I mean, we can't expect her minute. to, like, sleep no. on the floor without extra blankets. Now, I feel complete, you know? <laughs> Damn tired. <laughs> Let's wrap it up and crash, man. Come on. Hey, can you give me a massage? You know what would feel good? A scalp massage. Honey, do you have that massage lotion? It's at your feet, I think. Oh, is it? <laughs> you can rub it in my scalp, but as long as you give me a back arm, too. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm gonna do O. And then, that's what I'm talking. Scalp okay, massage. Really Toledo, Ohio, conservative Toledo, Ohio. I'm going to be having a chat with your son. What? Go ahead and oh. chat with my son. I hope he has respect for me because I'm walking out of this room. It's absolutely asinine for a Julie to sleep outside. Three boys, I take care of myself. Thank so what we'll do is that we're just going to leave that bed for him for when she comes calling back. <laughs> Lighten up. Lighten up? No, you can lighten up to a point. My son may think it's funny now, but in 10, 15 years when he matures, he will not think that it's funny if mom slept in another room and becomes wacko. Good night. See you tomorrow. Julie slept outside that whole time? Yeah, my dad is priceless, bro. <laughs> 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 Downright embarrassed that I didn't know that hair remover works. Hey, Julie, it's a whole new day. We're going to be totally rad today. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this. Yeah, it's a whole new totally rad day. <laughs> we got breakfast. Breakfast is ready. It's getting. Cool, man, so let's hit it. Feathers! Follow the feathers. Come on and join me in the nest, dudes. Ah, yeah! Ah, oh, man, we're gonna get rad today, oh, dude. Shoot, why would you tell us there's a wall here? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. <coughs> I know there's been some criticism, like, what does this have to do with my kids? But finally, we've got an event that's totally going to make you better parents. Yeah. <laughs> OK, now, can any of you guys look me in the eye and tell me that you've never made your kids eat something they didn't want to eat? Like, I don't like green beans. And then you say, shut up and eat your green beans. Right? That's right. Um, I'm not eating anything. And no joke, all the way from North Carolina, like, we have to eat earthworms. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't even have to chew it. It's kind of gross.
But you've got to admit, you have made your kids eat stuff they didn't want to eat. And it's not bad for you. Oh, yeah, dude, I pulled it. Do not throw up. Ah, <laughs> Yeah. All right, dude, you're up, bro. So here, dude, grab, grab, grab one, bro. I think having it squirm around inside is really pretty mellow. I can't believe I pulled that off. Yeah. Now you got it. <laughs> wow. Yes, 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 yes. Dinah, let's honey, go, do, you want, do, you, do you want me to feed you like a bird? <laughs> Very sexy. Just <laughs> squeaking around? Okay. Mm. Okay, baby. Mm. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. That ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what, do you, what do you say, Tim? He said, hook me up. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's protein. Okay. Is that what it is? Yep. You're the man, Tim. You got it. All right. Oh, my God. He's the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's cheery. Yeah. He's cheery. Tim like, is I would be, the change. Yeah. I'd be here, like, everywhere. Smooth off the Nice. <laughs> yes. Smooth off the <laughs> Let's have a little after breakfast breakfast. He'll make the call. Come on, <laughs> Yeah! It's probably really good for you, too. It's bloody fabulous. <laughs> now, see, that's not how you take pills. <laughs> yeah! You don't want to be the only one left out, do you? Absolutely. Oh, not doing man. It. Absolutely, you're not going to do it? Fuck, 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 are you chickening out on me, Absolutely. Julie? I'll tell you what, I'm going to find you the smallest one, Julie. It's going to be like tiny. I am not eating a worm in a nest with you with a chicken suit on. It's not happening. All right, this is your last chance, I Julie, because I'm about to pick up the phone and I'm going to call Sean. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting Sean on the horn right now, damn it. <laughs> Julie, everybody but you kicked butt on this event. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so stupid. Let's go call Sean, damn it. So, am I, am I to get this right, Julie? We're just throwing the towel in on Sean? <laughs> throwing the towel in on Sean? Because I won't eat a worm. I slept out in the cold all night. I snorted ice cream. I walked on glass. I stuck my head in the friggin' thing to get a stupid ass dumb goldfish out. Yep. You smoked cigarettes. I did not smoke a cigarette. Can I have a hit off that? Yeah, but you want a cigarette? Yeah, but that, not, not on TV. Oh, very light. <laughs> <laughs> what bathroom? You didn't smoke a cigarette, Julie. You smoked numerous cigarettes. I did. But I don't necessarily have to tell Sean that. found unbelievable ways to be a problem camper. And I'm just trying to figure out what to tell, tell your damn son. Yo, Sean, what's up, bro, man, dude? It's Steve-O. Hey, Steve-O, what's up? Sean, it's not been exactly smooth sailing with your mom. What's going on? We had a real problem with an earthworm just now, Sean, dude. Mom. What? Why won't you do it? What? Do what? Eat a worm, Sean? Hey, okay. Sean, has your mom ever made you eat something you didn't want to eat? Yeah, and I did it. So I think she should do it. Not a worm, Sean. Your mom's found ways to be a problem camper that just aren't even regular at all. I mean, she wouldn't, she wouldn't sleep in the cabin last night, like, uh... Sean, you want me to sleep in the cabin with Steve-O? Basically, like, uh, what I'm saying, Sean, is your mom's got to get her act together. Mom, just do what Steve-O asks you to. I feel for you, Sean, man. You know, I really do. Thanks. Take care, brother. Bye. Bye. Let's try and tighten it up, Julie. Let's really tight. Let's try and tighten it up. Oh, yeah. No. That's just wrong in some <laughs> way.
Ah, <laughs> oh, it's calisthenics time, dudes. Hey, baby. I got you a sexy bikini. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to have a little workout. I'm not wearing a bikini. Yeah, Barry. There you go, man. Ha, you look sweet. I'm your fan. I'm not day. wearing a bikini. Well, then I'm probably going to have to tell your son that you're smoking less than I don't care if I'm tall. <laughs> yeah, with a body like that, Judge, come on. It'd, it'd be a crime not to show it. <laughs> I'm not wearing it. I, uh, well, um, j just so you have it here. I'm not wearing it. All right, guys, so, um, you know, I, ob guy. obviously you probably want to change the I am sure. With my big fat ass, I'm not wearing it. But yeah, go, go help yourself to the bathroom, change up, and we're going to do some rad calisthenics. Sweet. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's no. not. There's not. There's not a second to lose. I'm not doing. Yeah. I am not wearing this with my big butt. It's not here. At least I can get out of this mess I got myself into. Okay, things look larger in a mirror, <laughs> and that's not doing anything for me. So what's the problem, Julie? You can still do calisthenics if you don't look styling. You know? I'm not doing it. Well, you're not going to do calisthenics or you're not going to look You know silent? what? I'm not doing it, period. I want to go home, period. That's it. Time to go home. You know, you I'm going to... You know, yeah, wear that and do calisthenics. See what I can. You know what? I'm not going next to you dressed like that. Period. <laughs> Matter of fact, I am going home. You hook someone up with some styling I'm threads and that's the thanks you get? I'm going home. Yeah. I'm going home. I can't afford to lose my job over that. I know it is here. Right. Oh, wait to get out of here. You can still do calisthenics, right? I think I can do calisthenics. All right, man, well, let's get to it. You can't let Julie go. Get yeah, we got to reel her back. I know we should. Okay, get her back. Uh, we got to. What's wrong, Julie? I'm gonna go home. I'm done. Let's give Julie some input, guys. <sighs> Steve O was right. We're all here about decisions for our own personal growth and for our kids. So if you're sure that's what you want to do, I'm going home. On the next episode of Camp Steve O. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you really know how to take a naked man down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's some yummy in here. Yeah, Judge. You are guilty of being the man. I mean, that's above and beyond <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Hey, kids. How much do you trust me? I trust you a lot. Maybe your parents broke their backs for you kids.